Hello again. Thank you very much for joining me here on Movie Ninja. And tonight, I'm going to be doing a channel shout out. Now, this is a channel that I feel in many ways is kind of like the content creators are in a way they're like a kindred spirit. You know, like I there's not a whole lot that I could say that I've seen on YouTube, either on the smaller scale or even like the larger scale, to where like I you hone in on a particular like duo, you know, in a very specific niche. And these two guys, uh HM and Big E. So what they do is they mostly uh, cover content. It's it's a wide spectrum. It goes like they cover a lot from fa like you know general audience family entertainment all the way to award winning Oscar contending you know uh, films. I think one of the things that stood out to me when I first started watching their channel is that they're very one you know like when they do dip into nerd culture because that, that I mean that was one thing like their first review is of the Batman movie that came out earlier this year and as I've watched their channel uh, something that is very and it's it's kind of disappointing that I have to say this now about YouTube as a platform is that like whenever there is coverage of something that I could refer to as nerd culture Hey, I'm a nerd, okay? So I'm, I'm not saying this from the outside, sort of like judging, but like, you know, because I like, I like my mad science, I like my, my space samurai, I like my comic books, I like my kaiju movies, you see a few of them uh, that are observing back there, you can see Mothra and like that. In nerd culture, in nerd culture on YouTube, unfortunately, there is this trend and I, I think I think I know like like what it is. Um, there's this trend towards the negative. There's a trend towards like like tribalism, you know. Uh, not to get too political about it, but unfortunately, like yeah, like like sometimes within like if you're if you're talking about video game adaptations, comic book adaptations, like you know. We get so bogged down in our various like opinions that we form camps, and those camps solidify into just like, just one team that must eliminate the other. Unfortunately, you know it's it's a place where like like you know flame wars can just easily erupt with like the snap of a finger, and like that. And these two guys, I will definitely say like that very very positive they're fair very very positive i have not really come across i think really like any like film that they have like gone where they went into full rant mode and that's something like it's it's something that i do not participate in like for the most part like i i try to recommend my audience towards something that i that i have enjoyed and i believe that you will enjoy you know, uh, for the most part. And so like, and this, and the same goes with HM and big E, like they will talk about, you know, like any aspect of like nerd culture, you know, when it comes to, uh, what's the latest, like, uh, star Wars, uh, series, what's the latest, uh, star Trek series. What are some newer sci sci-fi that are in like theaters, you know, and I have I've never heard one raised voice. I've never heard one raised voice. I mean that there's as a duo, they work so well together and they have these discussions and they have these conversations and a lot of it is just it's 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 fun to just hear like you know like even if there's a disagreement, it's civil. And I really, really appreciate that. It's too easy when we delve into any form of like analysis of nerd culture, and it could be positive or negative. You know, like sometimes, sometimes you feel like you just can't win, no matter what. And I admit, being a nerd, we are hard to please. I understand that. But at the same time, if you're trying to be objective about it, you know, if you're trying to have a conversation with someone just, you know, across the table, 
And so like, okay, what did you like about it? All right, okay. I didn't, you know, but, you know, this was my takeaway and this was my, that, that's how I felt about it. Like a lot of the times, you know, the, there, there is no discourse like that. Um, you know, and, and yeah, there's a lot of open panels like for like nerd culture for like comic books and different like, you know, like uh, nerdy movies and things like that. But I feel like there's too much of a temptation nowadays to just kind of get into heated arguments about like like anything or you have to be like far far too cynical about these things and i've never gotten that from the as of the time of this recording as of the time of this recording i've, I've never i've yet to see that so i hope i hope that 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 doesn't happen i completely i anyways i do i do not see it as a foreseeable thing i don't see either of these guys having massive personality overhauls where they're just spitting acid at each other as they're talking about the latest Predator movie, the latest Star Wars series, the latest Star Trek series, and things like that, you know? Um, they usually just talk about it in the most enjoyable terms, you know? And that's something that I feel like we could all, like, benefit from. And like I said, it's multiple perspectives, because they don't always agree. And, that, and I think that that's very good. It separates from groupthink, you know? Because, like, when you have these, like, dis you can agree a great deal percentage of the time, but, I mean, disagreements... That's human, you know? We're gonna have that. But I know that, like there are like some times where we kind of feel that aside from like honest expression of an opinion versus protecting the opinion itself. And what do I mean by that? It's like, okay, you liked it because of like X reason, I liked it because of, you know, Y reason. And someone said, well, I see where you're coming from, but I don't think the Y is valid because of like these points. Well, then I guess I don't have to listen to anything that you say because you slightly disagree with what I say. Like that, it, it's so easy to devolve. And that's something that I've never got, like I've never observed to date from their chemistry. They work really well. You can tell that they're friends. You can tell that they're genuinely enthusiastic about it, but they will be honest about, you know, these, uh, these bits of media that they cover and like that. And so aside from being what I see as kindred spirits in the ways that we approach media analysis or just sort of like, like I said, nerd culture and like that, they also do, uh, they do travel logs and like, so they go to various like conventions or they go to like various like cities. I'm assuming business oriented, neither have mentioned what profession that they are in. I'm assuming, like, I'm, I can only assume because they're from Canada and like, like, because they come down to the States very often, I can only assume it's, it's for business. So, but like, but they do travel logs, uh, you know, when they're having, when they're out and about and, and like that. And they've been to San Francisco, they've been to parts of the Midwest, they've been to, you know, like they do travel logs of like a number of places and locations. Um, sometimes it's, you know, fan related for various things, you know, it's like the, you know, to be like to tourists having fun. Uh, but a number of them have been for conventions and their convention coverage is also, I think it's very, is, is, is very thorough, but it's also very fair because they also do like more often than not, they will do like grades and it doesn't matter like what they're talking about topically. It could be for, like I said, the latest award show, independent, you know, film circuit can, you know, like award contender, or it could be something the, one of the newest items on like Disney Plus, you know, it could be like, and they, they have such a wide like gamut, but I, even though YouTube, this, this platform, okay, like I keep my, I would say for the most part, for the overwhelming majority of like, like my content, even though it's like PG and I don't like to curse on my channel or anything like that, whatever, because of some holdover, uh, like, like standards and practices that the platform still adheres to. Unfortunately, we have to say, like, oh, is it for kids or is it not for kids? Or is it safe for kids or is it not type thing? So, I mean, it's like, even though my channel and I've, and I've no doubt because you can't box yourself in. If it's like, I don't know, if you if you're saying on YouTube that you're safe for kids, then anything besides Peppa Pig and Coco Melon or something, um, it's like, okay, well, like, if it's anything besides that, then you better not be producing that. Like, yeah, I'm not in the business of making that content, 
But at the same time, like, yeah, I will talk about like horror movies and sci-fi movies and things like that that are well over PG, PG-13 or anything like that. But, you know, like, like I said, but I would like to think, because I can't control what people do, um, that for a majority of my content, a majority of the coverage that, that I do about uh, films and TV series that interest me, I would say that someone can have it in the background and they don't worry, they don't have to worry about little ears like picking up on certain like things, like, you know, like, uh, like bad language or, you know, it's like particularly like ranty hot takes about certain things. And that is exactly the same type of quality, you know, that I see from HM and Big E. So yeah, like I said, they, they cover a wide variety because I'm not trying to box them into like nerd culture, um, even though that is like a shared domain, which we, you know, like a lot of us, you know, self-included, enjoy. Um, the nerd culture, they do a wide variety of different like, um, like media in terms of like movies, TV shows. They do travel logs. They do uh, convention coverage. They're very, they're, they're very uh, thorough with whatever field that they're like discussing at the moment. And that's something, and right now, like, and I've seen them, you know, uh, and, and, and I've watched them kind of like go along and I, and, and I've watched their videos and I, I comment, you know, to help with the algorithm and things like that, you know, sharing my honest thoughts, uh, about whatever topic they may be discussing at the moment. Like the reason that I'm doing this channel shout out is because I feel that they deserve more attention. You know, I, right now at the time of this video, you know, and I hope they don't begrudge me for, for, for quoting this. But right now they're at 91 subscribers. Now, now they've been on the platform. Let me see, uh, check another, like, I mean, like, it's been less than a year, you know, according to the about tab on their channel, they started off in like March. And that's where, like, cause that's around about the time that the Batman film like came out. So, you know, that, that checks. Um, but it's been less than a year and, I, and I'm gonna admit, Okay, even even with with my own channel, I got lucky a few times. Um, like for people that see uh, some of the the view counts on my videos, I mean, I've got lucky a few times. I've gotten lucky to where there's a few that have larger view counts. Than, like, and because of some of the material that I've covered, I've been able to get uh, a slightly a slightly greater amount of like attention. But I feel as smaller YouTubers. You know, it is nice to show your support, you know, to show your support, to extend that goodwill and say like, hey, you know, and by the way, they've not contacted me like, like, like at all. I, I will say like there was, there was a, a very, a, a, there, it was a passing nice gesture. They did do a verbal shout out. Um, but the thing is like, aside from that, you know, I, that, that, you know, it's it's not gone beyond that like there's there's nothing to where like it's it was ever like a quid pro quo they haven't been they've been calling me and sending texts and like hey we did this for you could you do this for like no it's it's not that in any way shape or form i just feel that they're a very they're very uh intelligent in the commentary i feel like they're very positive about whatever topic that they're discussing and i feel that you know for a lot of what they discuss you know, they're very, they're very honest about, you know, that, and that is something that, you know, that is, these are all areas which I think all of us, or at least a majority of us can agree like that's important, you know? Um, but as of right now, you know, uh, just to know, like, if there is someone on my channel that likes what I the material that I put out, I think that you should also give them, you know, your attention. Please subscribe uh, to their channel because we all need help reaching our milestones, you know? And this is going on second or third year? Like I haven't like checked. Like don't, if you look at my channel, it's like, oh, Banana is like 2011 or something. I have not been making videos since 2011. No, okay. I'm still fairly new and fresh to this myself. And YouTube is a hard platform. It favors the, it, it, 
despite what YouTube claims on their like on their creators channel and things like that. And yes, they have made a few adjustments to try to a few. Right? Not going to be too easy on the powers that be of YouTube. But it is harder as a smaller channel to sort of, you know, just to be recognized, you know? And that's, you know, and, and so that's why I'm going out of my way to, like, mention this. And I've done, like, admittedly, I've done mostly, like, verbal, like, like shout outs. But for this, you know, um, moving forward, I might do this semi-routinely with different channels that are under, say, 100 subscribers or under 500 or even just like, you know, even if they've reached that milestone for the 1000 mark or like above, I'll bring like stuff to y'all's attention, you know, because I feel like I, there's stuff that I watch on YouTube and there's like, you know, people that I watch on YouTube that I feel like they have very interesting ideas or they have sl like, even if they have like slightly differing opinions about certain things that, you know, I would like to bring to y'all's attention. So like I said, like, even if it's just like one new subscriber for them, I, I would like to help them reach their first milestone of a hundred. So, um, but, but yeah, I will put a link into, um, I would say, you know, like one of their more recent videos like that. I will put the link into the description. Um, uh, please, if you, if you do watch, uh, either this video or another video and you, and this was like the bridge, please let them know that, you know, it's like, Hey, we heard that, like, you know, we heard about your channel from movie ninja just so they know like, okay, that we are trying to be supportive, you know? So, but thank you very much for joining me here on movie ninja and listening to my, you know, like my spiel here. Thank you very much. Thank you. HM and big E, you know, cause I think you guys do, you, you do produce like enjoyable content and you know, I do hope that your channel continues to grow. So, uh, I appreciate everyone for uh, watching. Thank you very much. And I hope you have a good rest of your day.